Прекрасно. Начинаем. Ребят, therefore. What is the therefore? Следовательно. Да. Give me an example of the word therefore, please. Give me an example of the word therefore, please. Ну, чего-то там я хочу, следовательно, что-то должен делать. I want to live. Therefore, I want to eat. Еще, теперь сам придумай. I want to play football. I want to play football. Therefore, I want to have to have a ball. Теперь еще один пример придумывай сам. Думай, думай, думай. Ну хорошо, я мальчик, следовательно, нашу прибыль. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Therefore, I wear. I wear some trousers. Some trousers. А теперь сам прибыль, пожалуйста, прибыль. Давай, думай, думай, думай. Смотри, подсказываю. I see. I see Bentley. Therefore, I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing, yes, very great, very great, наконец-то. Repeat, sound. Sound, песня, traffic. Oh, sorry, 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 песня, sound, звук, конечно же, звук. Traffic, звук вот этого вот всего там на улице, да? Repeat, silent. А это, соответственно, наоборот, погруженный в тишину. Can you hear the sound of my pen on the on the table? Can you hear the sound of my pen on the table? Yes, I can hear the sound of your pen on the table. Can you hear the sound of the traffic at the moment? Can you hear the sound of the traffic at the moment? Yes, I can hear the sound of traffic at the moment. Yes. Do you think the English language sounds pleasant? Do you think the English language sounds pleasant? Yes, I think. The English language sounds pleasant. Yes, no, yes. Do I sound agree at the moment? Do I sound agree at the moment? Только попробуй сказать, что agree. Только попробуй. Потому что синус здесь же прекрасный учитель с прекрасным произношением. Давай, говори. You don't sound agree at the moment. Yes, thank you very much. Is your house completely silent at night or can you hear street noise? Is your house completely silent at night? Uh, and um, or can you hear street noise? Uh, my house. My house uh, is completely silent. Silent at so night. Mm -hmm. Repeat a, a, and and the, the, the. the. What's the difference between a and n? What's the difference between a and n? The difference between a and n is that uh, we use a uh, before uh, before uh, constant. Sound. Whereas we use n before a vowel sound. What's the difference between the and the? What's the difference between the and the? The difference between the 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 and the and the is that is that we use we use the before consonant sound. Whereas we use the 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 before before a vowel. Vowel sound. Sound. Yes. Repeat. Succeed. Succeed. What does it mean? Succeed. Преуспеть. Fail. Fail. Наоборот. Да? Examination. Examination. Exam. Exam. Понятно, да? Take an examination. Take an examination. Что значит? Сдавать экзамен. Pass. Pass. Тоже что-то в этом духе. Did you fail to answer the last question? Did you fail to answer the last question? No. No. I didn't fail to answer the last question. I succeeded in answering the last question. If you try hard, do you think you'll succeed in learning English well? If you try hard, do you think you'll succeed succeeded in learning English well? Yes. Yes. If I try hard, I think I'll succeed in learning English well. Well, yes. Do you think you'll pass the stage exam at the end of this book? 
Uh, do you think you'll pass uh, the stage exam at the, at the end of this book? Yes. Uh, yes. I think. I think. I'll pass. I'll pass. The stage. The stage. Exam. Exam. At the end. At the end. Of this. Of this book. Book. Mm -hmm. If you fail an examination, do you always take it again. If you fail an examination, do you always take it again. Um, yes. Yes. If. Uh, if I fail. If I fail. An examination. An examination. I always. I always. Take it again. Again. Mm -hmm. Uh, what can we use instead of I must study? What can we use instead of I must study? Instead of? Instead of? Instead of? I must study. I must study. And we can say? We can say. I have to I study. Have to study. I have to study, yes. Do you have to eat if you want to leave? Uh, do you have to eat if you want to leave? Yes. Um, yes. I have to I eat. Have to eat. If I want? If I want to, to leave. leave. Yes. yes. Uh, did you did you have to get up early yesterday morning? Do you have to get up early yesterday morning? Uh, yes, I get up early. Mm -hmm. yeah, get up. Uh, yes, I said yes, to get up early. Get up early. Yesterday, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning. morning. Вот так, друзья мои, мой ученик встал рано, приехал на эти вот занятия, а я опоздала. I'm late. <laughs> вот и спрашивается, зачем ему было рано вставать? Окей, <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, will you have to wait if you write too early for the next... <laughs> вот, как раз таки, как раз таки вопрос по, по существу, по существу, послушайте внимательно. Will you have to wait if you, if you arrive too early for the next lesson? <laughs> will you have to wait if you arrive too early for the next lesson? Yes. Yes. I will have, have to wait... If I arrive too early, if I arrive too, too early for the next, for the next lesson, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the negative of have to and the must have different meanings. I don't have to eat. I means that I can uh, do it if I want, but it is uh, not necessary. I mustn't do it means that uh, is it bad or wrong to do it. Mm -hmm. Understand me? Ничего не понял, но все разберем на практике и абсолютно все поймем сейчас же. Which is right to say? You mustn't smoke in this building, or you don't have to smoke in this building. Да, уже гораздо проще понимать. Which is right to say? I mustn't smoke in this building, or you don't have to smoke in this building. It's right to say. It's right to say. You mustn't, you mustn't smoke, smoke in this building. building. Yes. Which is right to say? I mustn't get up early on uh, Saturday, or I don't have to get early on Sunday. Which is right to say? I mustn't get up uh, early on Saturday, or I don't have to get up early on Saturday. It's right to it's say. Right to say. I don't have. I don't have to get up early. To get up early on Saturday. On Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, must uh, do you study if you want to learn English? Must you do, um, must you study if you ma if you want to learn English? Yes. Um, yes. I must. I must study if I want. Uh, if I want to learn, to learn English. English. Must you study ten hours a day if you want to learn English? Must you study ten hours a day a day if you want to learn say, English? Um, no. No. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have fair to study to ten. Study. Ten hours, hours a, day a day if I want, if I want to, to learn, learn English. English. Ну вот. Понятно, значит, must. Запоминаем must это когда <coughs> категорически. А have to это когда да, но. <coughs> Понятно? <coughs> когда категоричность не присутствует в наших ответах. Итак, repeat. Spoken. Spoken. Written. Written. Spoken. What has been spoken? Устно, written, соответственно. Do we generally use uh, contractions in spoken or written English? Do we generally use contractions in spoken or written English? Uh, we generally use contractions, contractions in spoken, spoken English. English. Do you think it's easy to understand written English or spoken English? Do you think it's easy to understand written English or spoken English? Uh. Hmm? Друзья мои, обычно на наших уроках нашим, нашим ученикам гораздо проще in spoken English, я вас уверяю. А вот как Данин, не знаю, сейчас мне ответит. Как он решил? Окей, он тоже решил, что ему spoken гораздо проще. I think, I think it's easier, easier to understand, to understand. Mm -hmm. spoken English. Окей. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, what the contraction of book wheel? What the contraction of book wheel? The contraction of book wheel is bookle. Bookle. Uh, what the uh, tomorrow? What the contraction of tomorrow wheel? What the contraction of tomorrow wheel? Uh, the contraction of tomorrow wheel is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we always use contractions in English? Or do we always use contractions in English? No. No. We, we don't, don't always use, use contractions in English. Mm -hmm. When don't we use contractions? When don't we use contractions? Uh, we, don't we don't use, use contractions. When they are difficult? When they are difficult. To? No. Pronounce. Ну, разумеется, то, что нам трудно произнести, мы лучше сокращать не будем. Uh, do you think tomorrow will be a cloudy day? Do you think tomorrow will be a cloudy day? Uh, no. No. I don't think. I don't think tomorrow will be, tomorrow will be a, cloudy a cloudy day. I think it will be. It will be. Okay. Uh, sunny. 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 Maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. I repeat. Spell. What is the spell? Who book about? How do we spell your name? How do we? Uh, how do you spell your name? I spell my name. I spell my name. Uh, e A M I O. Mm -hmm. Yes, very well, great. Repeat. Communicate. 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 The communicate. Easily. 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 Do you prefer to communicate with your friends by phone or texting? Do you prefer to communicate with your friends by phone or texting? What I prefer texting. Texting and with my video in, in website contact. Okay, and you? I prefer I prefer communicate, communicate to communicate. To communicate. With my friends. With my friends. By by texting. Texting. Mm -hmm. Daniel тоже любит писать. Uh, do you think it's easier to communicate in spoken or written English? Do you think uh, it's easier to communicate in spoken or written English? Mm -hmm. I, think I think it's easier, it's easier to, communicate to communicate in, in spoken. Spoken, English. English. spoken English. Can you communicate very complicated ideas easily in English? Can you communicate very complicated ideas easily in English? No. no. I can't. I can't communicate. communicate. A very complicated, very complicated ideas, ideas easily in, easily in mm -hmm. and a bit hadn't, hadn't. The negative of had is had. And what is in had? Uh, e mel hadn't. Соответственно. Mm-hmm. What the negative of had? What the negative of had? The negative of had is hadn't. Is hadn't yes. Um, mm -hmm. What is it? Mm, так, 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 так. English grammar, different forms of have. Mm -hmm. The common ways of asking a question with the verb to have are: uh, Do you have a pen? Uh, have you got a pen? In the past tense, uh, it's the same. We can say: Did you have a pen? Have you got a pen? Etc. The most common way of asking a question with the verb have is the past. Is I did? Uh, did uh, you have? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. What are the common ways of asking a question with the verb to have? What are the common ways of asking a question with the verb to have? The, the common, common ways uh, of asking asking a question with the verb to have with the verb to have ah. uh, uh, did you have a pen? Mm, do you? Ah, do you have a pen or have you, have you got a pen? Yes, very great. What are the common ways of the past tense? <coughs> what, is past tense eh? what are the common ways of the past tense? Uh, the common ways uh, of the past of the past tense ah. are, are did you have a pen or have you had, uh, had you got a pen? Mm -hmm. Which is the most uh, which is the most common ways of asking a question? Oh sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, did you have your book with you last lesson? Did you have your book with you last lesson? Yes. Uh, yes. I had, I had uh, my book with, with me. The last lesson. Last last lesson. Mm -hmm. Uh, did I have uh, a head on my head last lesson? Did I have a head on my head last lesson? Uh, yes. Mm. Ah, head, no. head, head. No. Uh, no. You didn't, didn't have, have a head, head on your head, on your head last, last lesson. lesson. Yes. Uh, had I got any money in uh, my hand last lesson? Uh, had I got any money in my hand last lesson? Uh, no. You hadn't you got, hadn't got uh, any money. Any money? In your, in your hand last, last lesson. Did I have my feet on the table last lesson? Did I have my feet on the table last lesson? No, you didn't 
have. Uh, no. No, you didn't uh, have. No, you didn't have. You fit. Uh, you fit. On the. On the table last lesson. Last lesson. Repeat. Practice. Practice. And practice. And practice. Да, вот это то, что я говорю вам постоянно. Practice, practice, practice. Практиковать, практиковать, практиковать. Вот об этом урок. Именно об этом. Repeat. Sport. Sport. Вот это sport. Did you practice your English after you left school yesterday? Did you practice your English after uh, you left school yesterday? Yes, no. Oh, no. I didn't. I didn't practice, practice my English. My English after I left. After I left school yesterday. А вот если бы Данил занимался вот этим самым практизом, практизом, сейчас бы у него был не 50-й урок, а какой-нибудь 85-й. Да. Is it easier to become good at sport if you get lots of practice? Is it easier to become good at sport if you get lots of practice? And now practice. Yes. It's easier. It's easier. To become good. Good at sport. At sport. If you get, if you get lots of practice. Lots of practice. Lots of practice. What does it mean? Lots of practice. No practice. Yes, very great. Yes. What's the difference between the noun practice and the verb practice? What's the difference between the noun practice and the verb practice? The difference. The difference between um, the noun practice and the verb practice. Is it? Is it We spell. We spell. The noun with. The noun with. Yeah. Uh, C. 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 The letter C. And we spell. And we spell. The verb. The verb. With. Uh, and. And. S. 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 Yes. Repeat. Would like. Would. What does it mean? Would like. Mm. Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's a polite what's a polite way of communicating that you want something? What's a polite way of communicating that you want something? Hmm? A polite way. A polite way. Of communicating. Of communicating. That you want something. That you want something. 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 Mm -hmm. Is to say. Is to say. I would like. I would like. I would like. Я хотел бы. Give me an example, please. Ну, на самом деле, конечно, я знаю, чего бы сейчас хотел Данил, конечно, идти и, разумеется, играть в футбол вместо вот этого английского всего. Но он нам сейчас придумает абсолютно прекрасный пример, чтобы мне, как учительнице, было приятно. Давай, придумывай. Что ты хотел бы? Ну, что ты хотел бы на уроке английского с таким прекрасным учителем? Конечно, хотел бы, наверное, разговаривать прекрасно. Давай, говори. I would like, I would like to, speak uh, English. to speak English. Well, вот видите, я говорила, да. Так, what can we say when we open something to somebody? What can we say when we open something to somebody? When we open something, when we open something to somebody, to somebody, we can say, we can say, would you like, would you like, yes, give me an example, please. Чего бы я там хотела? Ну, ну. Would you? Would you uh, like? Like, like. Would you like? Would you like? Um, to buy a new car. To buy a new car. Yes, I like, I like. И всем вам говорю, хочу, хочу, хочу. Да, совершенно верно. Новую машину. Да. Чтобы не опаздывать уже на эти уроки вот с этими маршрутками. Так. Любит выйдет. Визит, визит, да? Австралия, Австралия, Австралия. Ну, конечно же, Австралия, ну не Австрия же, конечно, конечно. Я, конечно, сама путаю, но тем не менее это Австралия, да. Can we learn a lot of by visit by visiting different countries? Can we learn a lot of by visiting different countries? Yes. Yes. We can learn. We can learn. A lot. By visiting. By visiting. Different countries. What did you visit uh, any new places? Oh no, sorry, 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 sorry. It's mistake. It's mistake. Yes. Uh, did you visit uh, any new places last month? Did you visit any new places last month? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I visited. I visited some, some new places last last month. month. Yes. Would you like to visit Australia in the future? Would you like to visit Australia in the future? No, I don't. Uh... 
I wouldn't. Uh, no, I wouldn't like uh, to visit, to visit Australia. Australia in the future. In the future, I would. Yeah, I would like. I would like. Repeat. Use. 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 Yeah. The difference between use and use is that. Is that of чем же разница у нас здесь, да? Use is a verb, whereas use is a noun. Very simple, very simple. Understand me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between use and use? What's the difference between use and use? The difference between use. Not the. Use. Not the, 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 the difference. The difference. The, the, the. Repeat. The. The. The difference between. The difference between. Use, uh, use and use, use is that is the mm -hmm. uh, use use uh, is a verb whereas use, uh, is, 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 uh, is a noun. Yes. Uh, what uh, what the use of a pen? What the use of a pen? The use uh, the use uh, the use. Of a pen, of a pen is, for is for writing. Writing, writing, writing. Repeat. Writing. Uh, what's uh, the use in studying languages? What's the use in studying languages? The use. The use in studying languages, in studying languages is to make is to make it possible it possible for us to speak for us to speak to people to people from other countries. Ну, конечно, это предложение еще запомнить нужно, да. Окей, okay, let's continue, let's continue reading. Мы будем читать.